Alright, welcome back to another uh, ProPython tutorial. And this one we're going to talk about booleans, another numeric type. Um, booleans are true or false, typed like this, capital T-R-U-E, right? or F-A-L-S-E. Right? False, capitals, right, in front of them. Now you may be wondering why we're talking about this in the numeric section of our tutorial series, and that's because true and false are actually integers. Take a look at this. True is equal to 1. So basically we're comparing. Is true and 1 the same? Yes, true. How about false is equal equal to 0? True. All right. So false is 0 and true is 1. All right. So you may be wondering, when do we use true and false? Well, true and false is used quite often in Python programming language. Um, you see them a lot with our conditional statements where like if something's true do it if it's not true then don't do it or with while loops while something's true uh, do something if it's not true then don't run the while loop um, so let's take a look at that remember I said false is zero so we're gonna create a variable called uh, a alright and we're gonna give it number five okay then we're gonna create a while loop which you guys haven't seen yet, so don't get all, you know, right here. We'll discuss them in full in the future. All right, so a while loop, while something's true, a while loop of run while something's true, okay? While A, and then I'm gonna print something, so I'm gonna do print, well, let's print A, so print back the number up here. So while A, print back A. But I also want to count down a, so I'm going to say a is minus equal to one, which this is going to go ahead and count every time we print something. It's going to take a number off of a here, so it's going to go down to four, and then it's going to print, and it's going to go down to three, and it's going to print. All right. So remember, I told you that a is or false is zero. When we run the while loop, this is going to count all the way down to zero, and then when when while gets to or when a gets to zero, it's going to go run the program or run the while loop, and the while loop's going to say, "Hey, this is zero. It's false. Don't run it." All right, and it's going to stop, and it's not going to do anything with the rest of this uh, while loop here. So let's go ahead and take a look. We get five. So what happened was it ran through. A was true. It printed a, which is five, and then it takes a number off with a minus equals one takes a number off here and it goes to four and then it runs again and again and again until this number hits zero and it runs while a and it goes up false all right and then it doesn't run the rest of this below it so that's basic so while loop but what I was trying to show you here is that zero counts as false so while loops run when when the statement is true it hit is zero which is a false um, boolean or a false statement in the while loop stop running so that's how we um, work with while loops um, I could have you know coded this a little bit differently but that's the most simple way to do it uh, like even if I wrote while false uh, print do something now if I go to run that, it's not going to do anything because it's false, all right? So it's false. It's not going to do anything. Uh, if I do while true, uh, let's say print I am stuck because we are going to get stuck here. Hit return return one more time and it says I am stuck we're in an infinite loop it's just continue to run 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 there's no way to go back and say hey uh, make the state statement false the while loop there's no way to do it so what we do is hit control C that will interrupt the program and we're good to go uh, so that's the basics of um, boolean true and false just remember Always use a capital, true or false, or you get an error. Um, and you can also use one and ones and zeros, true being one and uh, false being zero. So that's all you need to know. They're pretty simple. Uh, 
we'll see you in the next tutorial.